Wow, that's chapter two down. Uh, we did kind of bad. <laughs> Actually, no, that's not too terrible. 11, so that's 15 total. So we got 15 deaths. That's not bad. Uh, it's gonna skyrocket soon. This is the chapter that most people think is actually the difficulty spike of the game when it starts actually getting pretty difficult. So the Celestial Resort. Be proud of your death count. The more you die, the more you're learning. Keep going. <laughs> I had over 100 deaths on that chapter. Yeah, I've also- this isn't blind, so that also makes a difference. So we have a new mechanic, this goo on the walls. If we touch it, we die. So, uh... This is when things start picking up in terms of actually being very difficult, even... <laughs> even just playing it for a, a second or third time. This is my third run of this level. Um... This is when it's gonna start getting into more significant death count territory, especially as we go for collectibles, probably. So, uh... I'm gonna use the same strat as before to get up here. <laughs> I don't want to hear anything about you doing bad, okay. That's fair. Alright, so we got a key. Um... Gotta do some kind of trick maneuvering to get the said key by doing this. This way, you... <sighs> that's upsetting. <laughs> because this is like the worst chapter to have stick drift in. Like, yo, know, I I can feel like you could. I feel like you could do okay. At like the first two chapters, even with like control stick problems. But like this is the chapter when it would actually start getting really obnoxious having that as a problem. Welcome, may I help you? Are you a ghost? A ghost? Don't be silly. I am the concierge of this fine establishment. Welcome to the world-renowned Celestial Resort Hotel. Mr. Oshiro at your service. Two guests in one day, business is finally picking up. How long will you be staying with us? Uh, I'm just passing through. I'm climbing the mountain. Do you have a back exit? A back exit? passing through. This will not do. You know I can still hear you, right? In any case, our rear service door is reserved for hotel staff only. However, our top floor presidential suite features a world-class view of the peak. Yes, we'll be quite comfortable up there. Maybe I could get on the roof from there and climb down the back? The presidential suite? Marvelous idea, Oshiro. What is your name for our records? I'm Madeline, but again, I'm really not interested in staying. Right this way, Miss Madeline. It appears to be a very old and dusty guest book. Many of the pages are damaged or missing. The comments, however, are glowing. We'll never forget our time here. I've never felt more at peace. Thank you. <sighs> Alright, so we have them floating now. You know how I said keeping a death counter would maybe not be the best idea? Because <laughs> yeah, this is when it's gonna start ramping up very quickly. The, the beauty of this game is you die a lot, but each room is pretty tiny. So like, it doesn't feel like you're wasting time by dying a lot. At least that's how I interpret this game. Secret area. Um, so this is tricky, so we have to kind of bounce back and forth, but also without like draining stamina, which I did very badly. So, oops. Like that. Except not hitting the spikes. I feel like this is a weird blend of a casual playthrough and an actually pretty proficient playthrough. So I feel like I'm actually playing pretty well today. <laughs> Which is surprising. You know, you can jump from the following one to the next one without wall jumping. Oh. 
true. I kind of only figured that out towards the end, sadly. Um, Alright, so instead of going back, we want to go up here. Like so. Um, voila, and voila. I almost pushed the button too late, but got it. Piece of cake. Wait, actually, no, we're going back. Um, I'm curious about something. Can I...? <laughs> I don't think I can go back that way, so oops. Also, I can't tell if the game is too loud on the stream. Yeah, the other pathway is... Okay, let's try it. Yeah, this is a lot easier. I don't know what I was thinking. Oh wait, you run out of stamina. Game sounds fine, cool. Uh... Yeah, it's a pretty nice soundtrack. Um... The B-side music is also fantastic. <sighs> Alright, so that's where the cassette is. We need to keep that in mind. You know what, even though I was like, oh, if we get like this many bits, maybe I'll play the B-sides. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna end up playing the B-sides anyway, just because I enjoy this game. <laughs> um... You can actually hear it for once. Yeah, I, I tend to keep game audio low most of the time. In this case, I was too lazy to change the settings, and this game apparently is a little bit on the loud side, so if it works for you, then that's cool. I mean, also there's the fact that this game's soundtrack is phenomenal, so I, I kind of want it to be extremely audible, if you want me to be blunt. Alright, so we need to be careful, because when you see the little wavy things, that means darkness is going to start spawning in I screwed up this room. <laughs> um... Why did they think that was a good idea? I don't know why I thought that was a good idea. Okay, trying this again. I see what to do. Okay, I see what to do here. Um, we don't want to dash. We just want to jump from the, f the moving, the second moving platform to the wall directly. I think, if I'm reading this right. And then like that. Cool. Alright, this looks gross. So let's see what we can do. I like how I'm getting all the easy stuff first try, and I'm not sure how to feel about this. <laughs> Please follow me closely, Miss Madeline. The elevator is just down the hall. The hotel is in pretty rough shape. Is it really open for business? Of course we're open. Celestia Resort Hotel would never close during prime tourism season. Rough shape. What did she mean by that? Oh, please allow me to carry your luggage. My bag? No thanks, I'll keep it. Hmm, very well. What a peculiar guest. <sighs> okay, um... Like that. And... Like that. So this room has a flying strawberry, so we're gonna do our best to not dash. Uh... Cool. That works. Got a key. So we need to... This is a pretty nasty room. Uh... Again, I'm getting everything I say is difficult first try, and I, I'm very confused by this. I'm like legitimately baffled <laughs> by this development. Uh, slide down, dash. So this is a pretty unique strawberry so far. So the way this works is we need to, uh, we don't collect it just by touching the ground. What we need to do is actually get all the way up, back up to safe ground. Since we're, you know, technically extremely not safe here. This might not seem bad, but they get really awful later, so... I 
I screwed this up. <laughs> no, wait, I didn't screw it up. I think I'm, I'm so good. Uh, now, okay, right idea, bad execution. Okay, I'm a little surprised I remembered how to do this. Albeit with poor execution. Uh, I'm not training fast enough in the air, that's what's going on. We may get to a point where just for the sake of progress, we're not going to spend a million years on a strawberry. So we might hit a point... Never mind. Uh... Okay, I think I need to reset the room now. Because there's no real way to get back through. Imagine doing a deathless run with all strawberries. That'd be ridiculous. Uh, GG. I can't tell if that's a sarcastic GG because I did have to die <laughs> to reset the room. Secret passageway down here. For strawberry. That's not a gimme. It's a very much one that leads to death. We're coming up on the crystal heart shortly, I think. Oof. Uh... 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 <laughs> um... Okay. Right execution, but panicked. Uh... Um, boy. That was a mistake. Uh... Got it. Cool. <laughs> yeah, death is kind of encouraged. Which I know some people don't like, but I feel like this is one of the only, like, hard games. Like... That I actually can enjoy. Because for some reason I find this game difficult, but I don't find it frustrating. Like I legitimately don't really get frustrated by this game. And it's kind of weird. Maybe because I like hard platformers. Miss <laughs> Madeline, I really must implore you to keep up. I'm running a world-class establishment here. I don't have time to wait around for meandering guests. You really don't have the way for me. I'm just looking for a way through this place. Oh, you know, you idiot. The customer is always right. Business is finally picking up and you lose your temper. Of course, Miss Madeline. My sincere apologies. I was out of line. Please feel free to explore your leisure. Okay. <laughs> So this is the messy room, uh, this is where the crystal heart is, uh, roughly, so we need to actually be careful not to accidentally miss it, because knowing my luck I'll miss it by accident. Over here we have a laundry room. We have an easter egg up here. We have the original, like, tech demo for this game through the Pico 8. Um, we're not gonna play this yet. Uh, but just to show off what this looks like. You can't wall climb, you can just jump and dash, so it's a lot more limited. Uh, but it's kinda neat. I think we... You know what, we might play this later. <laughs> but, uh, just for the sake of progress, we're not gonna worry about it right now. An old paper sticks out from amid the clutter. Attention hotel staff, it is my sad duty to inform you that the Celestial Re Resort Hotel will close indefinitely following the season due to circumstances beyond our control. It was an honor to have served alongside you all as we worked tirelessly to ensure that our guests enjoyed the most hospitable and memorable experience possible. I write this with a heavy heart. The hotel has become my home. And staff and patients my family. I will miss you all dearly. Mr. Oshiro. <laughs> well, that's dark. Anyway, speaking of which, we need to go find him. Here he is. Ah, this clutter is out of control. When did this happen? I don't even know where to begin. Mr. Ashiro, do you run this whole place by yourself? You're right, Miss Madeline. I've I'll never sort this, this mess out alone. It's hopeless. That's not what I meant. Just breathe, Mr. Ashiro, breathe. It's just a little spring cleaning. Well more than a little, but I can help. 
You're too kind, but I wouldn't even bother. It's a lost cause. <laughs>